What's going on everybody? I am back with a new video. Before I get into it, if you could go over there and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment. I greatly appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be talking about the AS Max Smart Air Pump. All right, before I get into unboxing this, a little transparency. I have already used this. I've already done my testing on it. I just threw it back in the box to show you how it comes out. So when you get it out of the box and you charge it, it took about two hours and 30 minutes to completely charge it up, fresh out the box. And well, let's just go ahead and uh, I guess, get into the unboxing all right so smart air pump pretty uh little size comparison this is zero 3d floorboard mounted highway peg yes it's off the bike because i gotta get some powder coating done but that'll be in a different video all right so unboxing this is how it's gonna come open this side you got your air hose. You have you have your needle and valve for your soccer balls and basketballs and all that. It comes with another charging cable. And it comes with this storage bag. And it also has a user's manual. Now, now that's out the box, <laughs> let me, uh, I use this one here, so, I mean, it's pretty small and compact. I really have my doubts on this thing, to be honest with you. But, pretty simple operate, hold the button down, and it shows that it's on, and it's fully charged. This is the current PSI. That's the target PSI. You have different modes. You go from car to motorcycle to bicycle to sports equipment. And you can actually do this on the custom one, which just, Just for a little show and tell, I'll show you how high this thing actually goes up to. Hundred and sixty PSI. High as it'll go. And it works. Yes, I know I don't have the air hose on here, but I'm just showing you what it'll do. Turn it off, hold it down, says off. Now your power's done. So I'm gonna show you right now my little clip that I did. I'm gonna speed it up for time constraints of this actually operating. And I have a timer going on my cell phone at the exact same time so you can see exactly how long it took to air up one tire. And it took relatively the same amount of time on each tire. All transparency, I did not use a stopwatch on every single tire. I can confirm I was in a hurry when my I needed it for the road glide. It leaked down, and here's a little bit of user error. <laughs> Don't hook this up first. I ended up dropping it from 37 PSI to 32, and then had to top it off to 40. But it went really quick. It was like 32, 32 and a half, and just kept climbing. And every time it hit a new number, it jumped to the half, and then it hit a new number. It For a motorcycle air pump, I think it's more than capable to do the job. I proved that airing up my truck tires. Let me give you a crash course on their Amazon page. Here is some slides that they put up on specs. Um, you see the X4 and all that 
that is each tire charge for each tire so you could get four on a charge which mine actually would have gone over had i not done the motorcycle first uh price here's a list of the price right now they do have 17 percent off with the 10 percent coupon which knocks it down to like 49.38 and my only complaints i have one of them's more of an irritant it's okay it's this cover for the usb ports you gotta have some fingernails sometimes it wants to work right off the bat but a little tab on the back here would be awesome to pull it if you don't have nails the other thing that i do not really care for you can see the two marks in the metal for o-rings yes i'm missing an o-ring and the reason for that is because i screwed it in it was sitting sideways i turned it it disconnected obviously ripped the o-ring so as max i suggest o-rings in this kit i would prefer to see an actual screw on type just me simple threads rubber gasket on the end screw it down be done with it it's not we're talking seconds not minutes to actually screw in a hose on this so the difference between the two quit fitting and screw type i think the screw type wins out over this because it's too easy to break loose but does it kill the air pump as an air pump to use no i tried to blow it up still works fine does have a light does have a usb charging on it so you can charge your cell phone if you do not have a charger handy uh, you will have to keep a cord in your saddlebag though or your backpack whatever you plan on using so that's the smart air pump from as max i do like it i do really want to see those two things changed in the next version I know some people's has tubes to store their air hoses in. That it's just cosmetic. I, it ain't gonna really serve a function too well for it. But thanks to old DDK going by and rev bombing me, I've had to start over and over. So thanks DDK for that because I know you're on your trip to uh, Triple B right now. And speaking of trips, Smoky Mountain Bike Week is going to be coming up from September 28th to October 5th. Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson will have some vendors there, but it looks like a majority of the vendors are going to be at Foothills Mall, which if you pull out uh, Smoky Mountain Harley, take a right, go down two lights and make a right, be on the left. Um, I'll be working at the Rolling Throttle tent all week. So if anybody is that interested come see me i'll show it to you as long as i'm not busy maybe doing installs at the time of night you may have to come back or something but i'll try to try to get this in your hands for you to check out <clears throat> so don't forget to if you do come to smoky mountain and you you hit up the dealership you hit up rolling throttle at foothills mall right around the corner dream rides tennessee go check them out too but I guess maybe I'll catch you at Smoky Mountain Bike Week. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.